let's examine this monumental 19th century book here, The Early Germans of New Jersey. Big, heavy volume like so. Naturally, on a book like this where the text block is so thick and heavy, the uh, hinges are cracked on it like so. Typical of uh, oversized books of this vintage. And we see here it has maps and illustrations. And it is a monumental, comprehensive work. 1895, and deckled edges, and a profusion of plates all throughout. Just every two or three pages, there seems to be an inserted uh, offset photographic plate like this. It's just, right, it's a monumental work. Um, and the second part of it here is the genealogical part, uh, like so. This first part is like this, endless images. It appears to be uh, laid paper, so there is a strong chance that this paper is handmade. Can't swear to it. Someone here has done some sort of genealogical work. There's a little paper mark uh, clip there where they probably have done some family research at some point which uh, might actually enhance the volume uh, for you. Uh, but here we have the genealogical part of the book, like so. This part has fewer illustrations, um, although it's also possible to go right by them given the deckled edges. But it's the first part that's profusely illustrated. The second part is more genealogical. And here are some more uh, notes that a person tipped in uh, and here's the appendix at the rear, like so. Some pencil annotations, if you felt like it, you wanted to, you could erase them, no, no problem with that. Uh, and so then there is this comprehensive uh, index at the rear with hundreds and hundreds of names and their specific locations uh, to be found within the text. And this is how it survives. And this book is available now online from me, Brian DiMamro.